Alright, welcome back everyone. I started a new session, so let's pick up where I left off last time. Should be three episodes out, and this should be episode four. Let's hope my counting's right. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. Doing this just a day after the first session, I want to get a few episodes put together so I can work on other stuff not have to worry about keeping up with this just basic filler comedy scene blah 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 twins arguing so forth I'm forgetting when things get serious but I know chapter 3 has one big cameo I've been wa I've been waiting for yeah since he wasn't in the last one he's definitely in this one doing this in the morning so forgive me if I'm a little quiet right now but still trying to get into the swing of things thankfully I have coffee with me I'm gonna need it <laughs> <laughs> another thing Matsuri has in common with Rukia More happy times, lunch boxes, so on and so forth. Why did she make three? Alright, oh, I gotta pass them out. Oh no, that's right. Uh, should we also have to deliver one to Sengen? I was gonna say because we have to give one to every cameo character we come across. Alright, Sengen's doing stuff. They gotta go to duty and deliver lunch. Easy peasy. Yeah, Fujimaru is lazy one and Matsuri is not. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> oh man. Cannot wait for the holidays. Uh, you go away. Okay, more hollows. We gotta go deal with it. They're operating in grooves, which is not normal. So why is that? Surprisingly, you cannot blame this one on Aizen. Which annoys me, because I want to blame him for everything. I could have like, okay, we gotta deal with this. What's going on? Let's go find out. Alright, we're patrolling with Kayan. Good. Hopefully that means Aizen isn't coming with us. Because I want him to go away forever. I don't know if this track is for the game or was used in the anime before. It's very familiar because I played this game before, obviously, but I'm wondering if it was also in the anime. I'll find out later. Okay, now we get to choose which character cameos we want to see. <laughs> Let's go with the safe uh, area first. That is a pretty fun one. <laughs> right now they're explaining some of the different divisions of the Rukon district. And this is pretty much the closest you're going to get to a Soul Reaper style area. If I remember, this area is where uh, Hitsugaya lived with Momo. And apparently Rangiku as of this game. There's Momo. <laughs> I forgot that's how they... Uh, is that how they translated it originally for the anime? Because they made a lot of strange choices. But it works. <laughs> Even at this age, she's still calling him little. Do you need help? Made a uh, somewhat significant character from the main series? 
yeah, a lot of the major characters aren't Soul Reapers yet, but that's going to change later. You must, you lost this little Shiro, huh? Is he a dog? <laughs> Just treating him like a fucking dog. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> She's describing him just like a dog. I can understand why Hitsugaya is such the grouch he becomes later now. There he is. <laughs> He's not a dog? Nani? <laughs> He's used to this at this point, isn't he? <laughs> God. <laughs> like, no. God. He just wants to be treated with respect, but that ain't ever gonna happen. <laughs> God, Toshiro, his guy. I am so annoyed he became the most popular Bleach character for so long to the point he got a movie when there was like barely anything to him, but he's fun in small doses. And very relatable because I too understand the frustration of dealing with people who do not respect you in the slightest. Of course, he's the responsible one, even as a small child, unlike when he becomes a still very small adult. <laughs> I think he might be the only character who could be considered shorter than Rukia who's not just a downright toddler. Okay, who's the next cameo? Right, since uh, Rangiku wasn't there, oh, okay, she's going to be in the middle section. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, the old Japanese thing of the woman who is not feminine. It works for Matsuri though, because clearly she wants to be. All the major women in her life are very feminine and she... Is just goes right into murder a man mode at the slightest drop of a hat. <laughs> okay, let's go to the average district. And it's like, let's just pick a division at random. Kai, and you, you've got to be more serious about your job sometimes. You're hunting down soul-eating monsters. Okay, and now we're gonna see Rangiku again. And Gin. Which, eh. He's okay. Uh, he ends up being a villain, sort of, but he wasn't a villain the whole time. He was trying to be a hero, but in the dumbest way possible. But he's fine. There he is. He's about to die. <laughs> if only that was Aizen instead. Give him your lunch. He's hungry. He stabs Aizen later, so he's okay. <laughs> I just wish he succeeded in killing him. <laughs> oh boy. It sucks having allergies in the cold seasons. The Gen Rangiku thing is such a strange shit because there's so little there in the series, but what is there is actually good, so I get why it became so popular. I get why uh, 
P-Rod and all the uh, other people making uh, Bleach uh, stuff ended up just uh, zooming in on that. There's Rangiku. We saved her earlier. She want food. <laughs> and of course we follow the children to their home, which is perfectly normal. A little touch I like to this game is that uh you can basically say these two OC characters are responsible for saving the lives of four different major Bleach characters now. And more as the time goes on. Uh, you'll meet the uh, other two of that four I mentioned in a moment. And I cannot wait to get to that scene. Hey, Rangiku got saved once and now she has food. And all that food is going to go straight to her chest in the most ridiculous way possible. <laughs> and Gin's like, just be grateful. And she's like, no, more. <laughs> now she's trying to blackmail us. Yeah, she has not changed once. <laughs> and of course she's just fucking with them. A Rogginku never change. More comedy, more comedy. We're hungry, we're fucking orphans in a terrible part of town. Why do. You know, the afterlife of Bleach is pretty fucked because, like, 99% of people just end up in a giant slum and end up dying horribly at some point. Like, uh, Bleach was supposed to explore that at some point when the Rukia rescue arc started and made a big deal about it, and then it just kind of forgot because the Aizen bullshit started and we never had time to go back. The closest we got was the Bount arc, uh, having the Bounts um, make use of the class divide to their uh, advantage, but the Bount arc was stupid and bad, so that didn't really mean much. Oh. <sighs> Yeah. God. I apologize for the disgusting noises. Hopefully, that won't last. And now the reason I came here. Yeah. Okay, I think we're either going to 79 or 80. In the 80th district. The 80th might be later. Oh, 78. <sighs> well, of course it doesn't look like the safest of places. It's called the Hanging Dog. What do you think that implies? Kyan has to run off because he'll create a time paradox if he stays here. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. Can't revolver us a lot this shit. There she is! Ah, yeah. uh, hi, Renji. Go away. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think this is... Like, the first time we saw these two as kids, they were stealing water, so... It's fitting that's how they get introduced here. And Ruka's like... Uh, pawn it off on that idiot! <laughs> She knows how to survive. Ujimaru's like, huh? Idiot. And they're like, kids are thieves? Wasn't there a pond? Don't they live near a river or something? I guess the water there isn't drinkable. Back to the thief hideout. Get your slow ass in here, Renji. <laughs> and 
no matter what age she is, Rukia is the best. Matsuri found them. The first act of kindness anyone showed them in the series is now canonical with my character giving them water. I'm okay with this. I like that they were both uh, pretty much grew up the same way and are they like they get it they're just gonna help him out that's nice oh Renji forgets because he's terrible but Rukia does not yay I gotta wonder what's in that water in, like, the afterlife that makes it unsafe to drink. I wonder if it's, like, a Ganji's thing, or just everyone bathes in it and it's filled with dirt and garbage. Okay, all that's done. It's time to get to the main deal. Ah. Why don't we try a really dangerous division? Ah uh, yes, the murder, uh, the murder district. It's about time we met him, huh? I'm kind of surprised he's not already a captain at this point. But then again, the timetables for uh, the past in Bleach never made too much sense. And like every time the anime tried to figure out a way to make it make sense, it didn't. <laughs> Alright, District 80, Soraki. Which, by the way, ends up being the name of the character we're about to meet. Because he just takes it. There he is. One of the most popular Bleach characters ever, for good reason. Kenpachi Soraki. AKA the guy who just wants to murder everything with a sword. It's great because for the vast majority of the series, he has no actual release on his not Pato. He just freakishly powerful. <laughs> and he just likes murder, and that's it. It's kind of. A, they just let him into the Soul Society because he's just really good at killing things. And that's it. He's terrible at everything else, but he's really good at killing things. You don't want to get mixed up with anyone like that. You definitely won't meet him in the future. That guy would definitely one-shot just about any hollow in this area. Especially uh, Big Eater. That guy's a fucking loser. The only exception is one we're going to meet way later. Okay, now we can uh, form a party. And I think this is where I can start deciding on certain things. Uh, let's find out. Let's see. Info. Yeah, now I can start buying skills, I think. Or not. Okay, hang on here. Okay, I have a simple lightning spell, but it doesn't really amount to much. Oh, he doesn't have a spell yet. What about Kyan? Yeah, oh, alright, he has a healing spell. I might need that. Guts and Glory. Boost all abilities except defensive HP falls below 30%. So basically a Berserk mode. That's good. Okay, and you can sort, which is going to be useful later when this screen blows up into pages upon pages of random Bleach characters. Let's see. Let's check system. I'll save real fast. Yeah, safe.
You know what, while I'm here, I can uh, show you all free battle, which is something I'm going to be doing more off-screen. And this is how you end up doing most of the grinding in the game. You have to fight, uh, you have to select a party and then fight a bunch of hollows and enemies and, uh, gather up experience that way. It's basically necessary for a lot of the characters to be of any use at all. Okay, let's get started. Right, I think pressure also uh, helps with your accuracy, not uh, not just your strength and defense. I'll bring him near Kyan so he gets a small uh, boost from. Wait, does he get a boost from him? No, he gives a uh, Kyan a boost and Kyan uh, as an extra attack on the counter or attack as long as he's adjacent. That's right. Matsuri, you can wait over here. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I know what skills are. Thank you. Oh, I can't use it. It's for some reason. Now we'll have to check why that is later. I'll let the Hollows come to me and knock him out real fast. No, oh, that's good coffee. Okay, um, let's do it solo. Adds two speed characters, so there's no real bonus for either. As much as I hate to admit it, Aizen is more useful for this sort of thing because his extra defense gives me more options. An extra attack doesn't really add much. That's a speed character, so I can have uh, Matsuri Akai and knock it out real fast. Of course, they're attacking Fujimaros for since he doesn't get a bonus on them. You can predict enemy uh, tactics pretty easily based on what gives them the best chance of not dying. There's a power one, and I'm gonna have to strike that with a power character. So I strike that with Fujimaru, I'm gonna be in Shit Creek real fast. Oh. I think all three of those are tech. They look green, yeah. If it's green, it's tech. If it's red, it's power. If it's blue, it's speed. Pretty simple, and just about every um, minor enemy follows these rules. Let's have Matsuri go up here and attack this guy. Oh, her accuracy improved a little. That's good. Let's see if I can't finish it off in one go. Probably not. Oh, yay, I did it. I'll take it. I don't remember what her defense is like. But I remember it being pretty good, at least compared to Fujimaru, who's about as durable as a wet sack of paper. I'll have him uh, do attack that one while he's next to uh, Matsuri, so he gets a bonus. And let's go. Yep, one hit. I wonder how many uh, times he appeared in those terrible Bleach fighting games. It's probably where they figured out what to do with his Sanpa Toe, I think. Since he has a sprite here, uh, it's probably from one of the handheld fighting games. The ones that were actually good, but I can't be too sure. Hang on, let's go back for a second. I have an idea. Okay, no I can't. So I'll just attack. Wait, technique uh, characters are coming up, so actually I should move forward. That way, Fujimaru is in attack position. Power characters get bonus on speed, but they're bad against tech, so I want Fujimaru near them. And that one's gone.
Yeah, free battle is pretty much as simple. It's just a way to grind for uh, experience and sometimes get extra items and junk. It's good to do at least one of these before every battle, but I'm probably going to be doing a bunch of these as soon as I start getting regular characters. Because a lot of these early characters aren't going to be sticking around. i have Fujimaru take the hit. And dead. That's all the small ones out of the way. Did Fujimaru get enough to level up? Yeah. That's a thought. The experience appears right next to the level at the top, so it's easy to keep track of all that. Okay, the tech guys are moving in. Let's plan out the move. Okay, I'm going to guard this time. Hyen's a pretty high level, but I don't want to take a lot of damage. Okay. Just warn the name of that uh, Bleach villain with Screecher, not Screamer. But maybe they change it because this is the generic version. Ah, uh, that would make sense. Let's have Kain move out a little since he's so tough. He'll probably have a pretty good uh, outcome against these guys. Yeah, he'll do a lot of damage. And he can take some damage. So it's fine. Yeah. These guys aren't that tough, so even if he gets hit with a especially effective attack, it's not that big a deal. And now... I can let Fujimaru get a bonus from his sister. Alright. Oh, yeah, we can do a team attack with them. Let me go ahead and show... Oh, no. Can't do it like that. I'll show it in a second if possible. It's really not that special right now. It's just uh, two of them attacking at the same time and doing a lot of extra damage. There's a lot of them you can find and it mainly depends on character relationships or how similar certain characters are to others. Move Matsuri here and you know what I'll have her attack because she's getting... For some reason team attacks aren't like normal attacks, you can only do them directly in front, directly behind, or to the side and that's it. Yeah, Matsuri, uh, Matsuri should be fine. She's getting an evasion bonus anyways. And that did it. Okay, one left. Alright, let's finish this off. Let's see if I can't do a team... Ah! Team attack is now possible. Um, let's guard. Matsuri's defense isn't nearly as good as K uh, Kain's. And she's probably going to take this last hit. Alright, and now I should be able to do a team attack. Let's show that off. I think team attacks require spiritual pressure as well. On. Uh. Yeah, once you do one, it should take a lot of spiritual pressure. Yeah, Mobile Matsu. Okay, yeah, you have to be directly. It's not the attack doesn't hit in only four directions, it's that you only have a partner to choose from four directions. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna have Matsuri uh, initiate it. Because she's my girl. Attack, team, Fujimaru, and let's get him. 
and this should finish him off. We're going in, Fujimaru. All right, anytime. And you get that cool little action intro, like manga style action intro. I wish I knew what that sound effect was. The game does a lot of that, and it's a nice touch. And this free battle's done, and my character's leveled up a little. I wonder how I unlock the tree, uh, tree branch stuff. We'll find out soon, I guess. Oh, and we also get bonus experience based on our performance. Survivors, amount of turns it took, and our use of supporting team moves. It also increases character affinity with your main character, which is useful. Oh, and then of course you also get these bonus items too, once you max out affinity with a character. If I remember correctly, they aren't just like collectibles, I think you can equip them? Let's find out.